people who suspect that their relatives might have been involved in Tuesday's Dompoisi accident, which claimed 34 lives are trooping into the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital to identify victims. Four people were injured in the, the accident. Two buses, one from Takradi and the other from Accra, collided head-on uh, in the fatal accident on the Cape Coast Takradi Highway. The dead included a baby and two children. And the families could not hold back their tears as news got round of the number of deaths recorded in the accident. Right, uh, very uh, heartbreaking scenes there. Let's quickly get onto the telephone lines and speak with the public relations officer of the Cape Coast uh, Regional Hospital, uh, Frederick uh, Nyangkang. Uh, joining us on the phone. Uh, good afternoon, sir. And thanks very much for your time. I know I spoke with you to get updates of how many people were involved uh, in the accident, how many people passed on, etc. Yesterday, 24 hours on, we're hearing that some family members are trooping in to identify their dead family members. How has the process gone so far? All right, thank you very much. Good afternoon. The process has been quite smooth, uh, even though we have a lot of people here coming to identify their dead um, family members. Um, so far, we have gotten 25 um, people being identified, and we are waiting for the nine other people to also be identified. Right. So are there other, you know, deceased persons who you would, I mean, from the medical standpoint, describe as unidentifiable because of the nature of injuries they had? Um, most of the family members who come, they, they have some um, particular marks or identifiable marks that they are looking for. So even though we have some who have disfigured faces and other stuff, when they come, they know exactly what they are looking for and they go to that exact spot and they're able to identify them. So, for the benefit of uh, our viewers who uh, don't understand the process, the medical team and whichever team is available take family members through, I need you to help us understand pretty well from the moment a family member walks to your premises to say they suspect that one of their relatives might have been involved in that uh, accident, what do you do? Okay, so... Um the first thing is to take the person to the accident and emergency unit where we go through the list of those who are alive. So after going through and you don't find your relative there, then we come to the mortuary. And because we don't have their names, what we do is that we take them to where everybody is and then they look through. That must be very uh, depressing. I must say, if, for example, you have a room in which there are uh, 34 dead people all lined up, uh, you go through each of them one by one to identify if your relative is, is part of it. That must be very traumatizing for people who don't have the medical experience and exposure with death like these family members do, right? Yeah, it's, it's a pleasant situation, but um, we... we actually have no other option than, than yeah. to do that. Mm. Because um, we cannot just carry every 
everybody out for you to look, and then we send them back. And so uh, it's not a pleasant situation, but we are left with no other choice. Mm. So, so I ask that question because I know that uh, perhaps there could be uh, medical support systems uh, in terms of maybe counselling, uh, uh, clinical psychologists on hand to offer some form of support whilst you take these family members through this uh, very worrisome procedure. Is there anything like that? Okay, so um, uh, medical personnel are on standby. What, what we normally do is that um, they, they know from your expressions um, as soon as he gets there, so there are some that when they come, they tell, no, this one cannot go inside. And so they take you aside and, and talk to you for a while before, if you still want to go, you, you, you go. But um, most of them also come and after the, after a few counseling, they, they, they will say they, they still want to go and we take them. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but before you go, I know that uh, we were talking about 54 injured. And yesterday when I engaged with you, you told me that there were some of them who were in critical condition. May I ask if any of them have passed on uh, following uh, the 34 that you have recorded so far? No, thankfully, um, they are all stable. They are all doing well. And um, 30 out of, the, out of that Danger. figure have gone home. And so now we have, actually at the, at the close of the day yesterday, we were having 57 injured. And so um, 30 out of the 57 went home. Went home. And, and, and so we now have 27. Right. Uh, so we're grateful for your time. Uh, we're grateful for that time. Thank you very much. A pretty uh, sad story there. Our condolences to the families who have lost these loved ones and going through this process to identify uh, family uh, loved ones is pretty uh, heartbreaking and uh, we wish you well we pray that you get a solace and consolation through all this difficult moment